Okay, welcome everybody. Finally back with another video. Um, so you might be thinking to yourself, what are we going to do today? Well, you could have read the title, or if you really wanted to, you can <clears throat> play through all the things in your mind that we need to do. You know, brakes, you need to clean it, you need to do suspension. Turbo whip, turbo whip, turbo whip. Ah! You, so I can I can do whatever I want. Okay, but like, what? Why are you here? Like, what are you gonna? No, just are you gonna help hanging out? You know, figure out, see what's going on. Thank you, Turbo. Here, well, you need to get out of here. I'm just, I'm just here. I got, I got stuff I gotta do. So oh, okay. you can go ahead. Well, great, well, I'll see you later then, I guess. So, what do we got here? Well, we're gonna be cleaning the inside of the car. So. I want it to be a nice place to be, even if the outside isn't the best looking. Um, so we got a carpet cleaner right here, just filled with some water. Glass cleaner. We've got two things from a local company called Attention to Detail. They do some great work. Um, here's a back to black restorer. Here is a interior, interior detailer for plastic vinyls, and it's a protectant. We got a carpet cleaner with like a scrubber on it. This is carpet and upholstery, so it'll do the seats and the carpet. In case it still stinks after we're all done, got a like bug bomb kind of style air freshener. We just leave it in there. Bottle of soapy water, microfiber towels, some wire brushes for the carpet in case it's really bad. Some interior like dusting brushes. We got three of them here. Got these little vent cleaners. It's got some fingers on it. We'll go over that a little bit more later. And a monster because your boy's tired. So with that being said, vacuum. I don't have a shop back so we're going to use an SL vacuum. Let's, let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is roll out our windows. We don't want any of our cleaning chemicals to get on the windows because it's going to be a pain in the butt to clean off. Next, we're going to disconnect our battery. We're going to have our doors open for quite a while, so we don't want the dome lights to be on draining our battery the whole time. We're going to go in here and pick up all the visible trash, so everything you can see on the floorboards, inside the door cards, and on the seats. All the change we pull out of the car, we're going to throw in this uh, baking soda and vinegar. I got a straw here in case I get thirsty later. But at the end of the video, we'll count all of it and see how much money we made. Now we're going to go in and unbolt our seats. There should be two bolts in the front. And then two bolts in the rear that are covered by these little plastic covers that I'm moving right now with a trim tool. Now that your seat's unbolted, you can pull the seat out of the car. Then you're going to follow the exact same steps for the passenger side seat. Now that we have the seats out, look how much space we have to work and all this other hidden stuff that we wouldn't have been able to see before. Now we're going to go in and collect all the trash that we couldn't see before that was hidden underneath our seats. And just check out all this trash that we found that we wouldn't have been able to get to before. Next we're going to go into our vacuum and vacuum out everything that you can see. All right, so next up, we're gonna get in there and we're gonna dust it right here and we're gonna wipe down the dash with just a little bit of water. We're gonna get in here and clean it with our interior detailer right here. And then we're going to protect it with this armor all protecting the head later on. All right, so now we're gonna take our little brush right here and we're gonna go in between the vents and clean them out and use the vacuum to suck up the dust as we clean. So we'll see just how dirty these things actually are. Just from cleaning those two vents, you can see just how dirty it was in there. With all this dust that we pulled out. And just for fun, here's a before and a after, just so you can see 
how dirty these vents were. Now, after we've cleaned the vents, we're gonna take a nice microfiber towel, add a little water to it. I don't have a spray bottle for water, but let's pour some on there. And we're gonna go in and dust the dash. Now you can kind of see all the dirt that we pulled out of here. See some dark spots, just all dust, and grime. And once again, here's a before and a after. Now for the dash, we're gonna take our brush and dust down everything just like we do with the vents using our vacuum as well. Now, to clean our gauge bezel right here, this plastic bit, we're just gonna take a nice, clean, soft microfiber towel with a little bit of water on it and just do a nice swipe across the front of the bezel. Now you can see just how much dirt we got off of the gauge bezel there. Do not use compressed air because if you use compressed air, that could blow it back behind the plastic here. And we do not want to do that because we need to completely disassemble it. And that's just a pain. I went ahead and dusted the back of the steering wheel right here, all around and the blinker and wiper buttons. And you can see just how much we pulled off. It's a lot dirtier than it was before. All right, so next we're gonna move on to our interior detailer. And for this, we're just gonna get our brush. And normally I would just spray a little bit into the end of the brush so we don't get spray all over the inside of the car over there. But in this case, I'm just gonna pour a little bit. You see, I just opened it just a touch to get it inside of that brush. Luckily the inside of this car, the dash isn't too bad. So there's not going to be a huge difference that you can tell, but we're going to get in here and use a lot of this cleaner and make sure this is nice and clean. Now we're going to go in with our microfiber and wipe everything down. It's going to pull all that dirt and cleaner out of the dash. And we'll be on to the next step. And you can see just how dirty this glove box is. So following the same steps, we're going to get these dark spots out of the glove box. And with a little elbow grease, we were able to get this really dark spot out right here, this spot over here, and I think there was a spot down here somewhere. Now we're gonna repeat everything we just did on all of this down here. And we're just gonna keep repeating this process on all of the plastics until Everything is nice and clean. Don't forget to do the sides over here. On uh, both sides. And you can see, I've already cleaned this a little bit, but you can see all these lines down through here. We're gonna get those out right now. Sky. On the edge where 
So this arm right here is disgusting. It is absolutely filled with dirt, grime, and probably literally elbow grease. So I've been kind of dreading this part of it, but we're going to put some power into it, a little extra elbow grease, and see how it turns out. Here you can see me using the nylon brush. Would not recommend if you care about scratching the surface you're working on, but because this is just plastic and I don't care as much, I'm going to be using this to try to help get into the creases of the plastic here. So you can see just how well all of that came out. Some of it did run down the sides here and I'll come back and clean that up, but good Lord, that thing was black and now it's basically brand new. I need to clean that a little bit better, but that is very impressive. I don't feel disgusting putting my arm on that anymore. Next, we're gonna move on to the steering wheel and we're gonna clean it exactly the same as we did before. Just make sure you use a non greasy cleaner because you don't want your steering wheel to be all greasy and slippery. And look at that. Looks like it just rolled out the showroom floor. Isn't it pretty? Alright, now that we've finished the interior, just I using the same cloth the entire time just so you can see how much dirt we really pulled out of there. Absolutely disgusting. Next, we're gonna knock these out real quick. Little details. And then we're gonna get started on these doors. These things are disgusting as well. And for the seat covers, here's a before and after using the same steps as we did before. Now with the driver's side door, here's a before and after. We're not gonna worry about the black on the door handle, that's just how the plastic is underneath. And then again on the passenger side, here's a before and an after, and I went ahead and knocked out the rest of the doors after this. All right, now that we finished the interior, look how dirty this rag was just from the doors. Now we have one more thing to do, and that's clean the windows. Now to clean our windows, we're just going to reconnect our battery. Very good, now it's not going anywhere. Okay, now we're just going to put all of our windows up. Very good, all the windows are now up. Now we're just going to go back and re-disconnect our battery. Okay, now we're going to get another clean microfiber towel and our window cleaner and spray them down. All right, 
Well, we're finished with the interior dash, steering wheel, and windows. I'm exhausted, so keep an eye out for the next video. And we will do the seats and the carpets, and then the car will be done. Thank you, everybody, for watching, as always. Praise the algorithm. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this video was brought to you by you. So... Thanks for watching. Thanks for the ad, watching the ads. It helps me out. Helps me make content for you guys. And hopefully I can get something else put out soon. So thank you very much. Have a great day.